Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, I will be doing an unboxing and a review of the iFi wireless SD card. Let's take a quick look at the outside of this box. It does say that it's a 4 gigabit card. It is Wi-Fi and it's time to, times 2 connect, which I guess it's 2 times faster than something. Um, it's the world's fastest, most advanced memory card and features a classic speed and 802.11 N technology. It is, uh, of course, wirelessly um, can upload photos and videos through your Wi-Fi network and it will send it to your computer or directly to services such as Picasso, Facebook, YouTube and many, many others. <laughs> So let's go ahead and unbox this. I will be unboxing our product here with our Kershaw Blackout. Alright, I don't know what the trick is to these things. Alright, this is a fake card here by the way. Here's the real one, real tight in this plastic. So we have that. And it looks like we have some reading material here. Ooh, and it's stuck there pretty good. So the two main pieces you're getting is a card reader, just a little card reader, in case your computer doesn't have one, and the SD card itself. Now that doesn't look like anything special other than the label. Here is a normal SD card. So nothing special at all. It even has the little lock on the side in case you want to write protect the data on there, which we will not be doing. So, so there is some software already store, stored on this SD card, so if you plug it into a Windows machine or a Mac, it's going to start a installation procedure so you can get the software on there so it will automatically upload pictures to your computer wirelessly through through the air 802.11n so I'm going to go ahead and pop this into my SD reader on my Mac. I'm going to be doing this on the Mac I'll come back to the screen here it looks like we double click on there and it should start installation. I'm going to make sure I'm zoomed in here again. Continue. Um, if you want to read all these things, you can. I'm not. Probably just agreed to something pretty bad, huh? Well, it looks like it just finished the installation and it wants me to um, do an update. Evidently, the software has been updated since they produced this item. So it's given me the opportunity to download the latest one and install it. So we'll go ahead and do that. Looks like one of the things it wants to do is to tweak my firewall to allow this... Uh, allow this to get through the firewall because the card will be sending the pictures to this computer because it has this software on it All right. evidently one of the things it wants to install is Adobe Air <sighs> I'm not a big fan of Adobe Air as a matter of fact I'm not a big fan of Adobe products at all. They tend to be pretty buggy. Alright, it looks like it wants to for me to create an account, so I'll go ahead and do that and be right back. Now that I've entered the account information, it is telling me that there's some new firmware, so we'll go ahead and update the firmware, and we'll be right back. Well, that really didn't take too long at all. It was only about uh, 20 seconds. Now, um, it wants me to create a name, add a name, well, oh no, I'm sorry, it wants me to select my wireless network, and now 
I have a pop-up here that I need to allow it through my firewall. And uh, now i got to put in the password for my wireless since I keep it encrypted. Alright, well it says to remove card from reader. We'll go ahead and do that. And really the best thing, the best way to do that is to properly unmount in the case of Mac you select eject and then you can pull your card out so I have my card right here now and I'm going to put it into my Casio camera here okay I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera on and I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of you <laughs> let me back it up here just a little bit and I'll go ahead and let me flip this over and we'll go ahead and take a picture of you what you look like to me there we go see that something just popped up so the next thing I want to do is try to upload a movie now I just I just do want to point out that there is an extra icon up here if I could find it right there and that's the iFi um, service running in the background it's always looking for any new pictures so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my camera and try to take a video to see how well it does videos okay, it took about 10 seconds of video so let's see how long that'll take to wirelessly get to my computer you have to make sure that you leave your camera on so it powers the card so you have to make sure it's still running because if your camera turns off and a lot do turn off automatically then it the card will no longer be powered therefore the Wi-Fi will stop working and the upload will not occur as you can see it's uploading right now let me see if I can zoom in before it's done this was a 10 second video Let's take a look at it. See if it put it into my movies folder. And here it is. It's a grainy picture of you know who. Let's go ahead and run it. So it, it works pretty good. Well, one thing I'm concerned about, and I'll further test it, is to see if I can use this in this camera right here when I'm taking video. Because every time I take a video, I have to take the camera off the tripod to get the SD card out, and it's a pain in the butt. So what I was hoping for was to do the videos on this so it wireless, wirelessly goes to my Mac where I do my editing with iMovie and then I don't have to keep on taking the camera off the tripod anymore so hopefully it will all work out and it will be $39 well spent this was on sale for $39 it's normally $49 this is the 4 gig version there are higher capacity versions out there and they are higher priced so works pretty good it worked on the Mac I'm sure it works on Windows too it's not um, specific to that those one or the other platform there are no drivers that I saw for Linux so sorry for you Linux gurus now the SD card is now in this camera so I'm gonna go ahead and take this video and um, it's actually uploading pretty quick so there it is so as you can see, the transfers are pretty fast. And this wraps up this video. So thank you very much for joining me here again on the Gear Obsession channel. I really appreciate friends, viewers, and subscribers. 
I hope that you have entered my contest. If you haven't, please look at the video before this. I have some really cool prizes, and it's going to be one person wins them all. So check it out, and if you're a sub to my channel, please uh, enter and spread the word. <laughs> Thank you very much, and have a great day.